Hi there, Karen Flaherty from Living by Human Design. Hope you're doing well and hope you've been well these last few months. I'm sorry I've been away a bit. Um, I've had a few things going on. We had uh, four weddings, a bunch of funerals, a new baby, a new grandniece, great niece, I guess, um, my niece's daughter, uh, who we're really excited about. And, um, and then a bunch of other things that were just going on personally, including a health scare that turned out to be everything's okay, but um, just a lot of life going on. So I hope you're doing well, and I hope you've had um, a bit of a break from me. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the gate. And one thing I'll mention right off the top, one of the other things I've been uh, working on is getting um, human design charts on my site, livingbyhumandesign.com, to be instantaneous, right? So everything in the world is instantaneous these days, including the charts now. So you can get as many charts as you like. You can do yours. You can do your family, friends, anybody, whenever you think of it, um, and go in and get the charts. And they're, uh, of course, always free. And there are also some free reports that you can also get um, that will be created as a result of your makeup, right? Whatever your type is, whatever your profile is, whatever your centers are, it'll be based on that. And so um, so they're really individualized and I hope you'll enjoy those. So um, again, it's at livingbyhumandesign.com. Go try it out and um, get as many charts as you want. So today we're going to be talking about the gate 26, which is all about integrity. And that has a lot of, you know, it's like any other gate, it's integrity or not. So let's talk about that. So the Sun Gate 26 started early on December 9th. And as I said, that's the gate of integrity or on the downside, uh, low side, it's manipulation. Uh, it goes until the afternoon of December 14th on Thursday. And uh, the earth is in gate 45, which is the gate of the king or the queen, um, also called dispersion in quantum human design. Um, I still like the king or the queen um, terminology, uh, because I've got it in my chart. And if you've got it in your chart, you'd probably prefer the king or the queen too. Um, so we start the week with no definition at all, but then by Tuesday, the 12th, we'll be moving into, uh, Venus is moving into the gate 44. And so we get 44 hooking up with the gate 26, which is going to be in all week. And that creates this entire channel of surrender. Um, we also call it the channel of the salesperson. So if you have any sales going on, Tuesday through Thursday is a good time to do them. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. Um, they It gives you both the, um, the advantage, if you will, of finding the right people to be in um, a sales conversation with. It also helps you to close the sale with the gate 26 being in the transits, especially being in the conscious sun. And so we have um, definition in that channel um, through Thursday. So we've got the sun in gate 26 and the earth in gate 45. And so integrity is also called the taming power of the great um, because basically it's about education. It's about educating the client about whatever you're trying to sell them so that they can make a conscious choice, right? It's about having the willpower, the 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 you know, connected to the will, right? So it's about having the willpower or the ego to make that case and then being able to present it in a way that's very compelling. And so that hopefully if, uh, you know, the person is is wanting to make, to uh, buy whatever you've got, um, that they will. Um, and so um, in the original I Ching, they call it the taming power of the great or the egoist um, because they think, or, or, you know, in the I Ching, the idea and being attached to the will center, the idea is that it's a little egotistical to be talking about yourself, to be talking about what you're selling, to be talking about, you know, your, um, your vocation, right? Whatever that is, it can be seen as an egotistical. On the other hand, it's how we sell things, right? It's how things happen in the world. It's how um, everything gets sold, really. So um, it's also the maximization of the power of memory applied to the nurturing of continuity, it's really, you know, sales is basic. Sales is uh, the second oldest profession in the world. Um, you know, if if you go with what's considered the first oldest profession in the world, sales is the second. It's got to be the second because that's where we get our wares. That's where we get our produce. That's how we barter, right? It's always about commerce and, and trading things and bringing things into um, the community that will serve the community, right? And it's that nurturing of continuity. Um, in the um, uh, incarnation crosses this week, it's the cross of rulership because with that 45, the gate of the king or the queen, it's always about being being in a leadership position. 
Uh, also the trickster, which is the, again, the downside of the gate 26 and confrontation. And in quantum human design, we do call it integrity. In this gate 45, as I said, it's the king or the queen gathering together or the gatherer in the original I Ching. It's the natural and generally beneficial attraction of like forces. So basically it's the person in leadership bringing together all the forces within the community or even outside the community to bring those in to the community to help the community to basically be beneficent, beneficial king or queen, right? They're always so it's the beneficent king or queen. They're always trying to help their community. Um, in the gene keys, dominance is the shadow, synergy is the gift, and communion is the CD. And in quantum human design, as I mentioned, this is called dispensation. So I love this um, graphic that Richard has. He says, uh, when you learn how to use pride creatively, it becomes something powerful and even beautiful. So a lot of times, uh, well, the shadow here in the Gene Key 26 is pride. The repressive side of it can be very manipulative. The reactive side can be very boastful. Met, I'm sure people who are proud, or we call them prideful, proud people, um, they're very, they boast about themselves. And so this is, again, part of the will center and it or comes off the will center. And so it can be very willful and have willpower associated with it, but also the egotistical side. The gift here is artfulness, so moving up the ranks a little bit, and the CD is invisibility. And so um, this artfulness is really feeling artful in how you're describing something to somebody so that they will purchase it, uh, giving them the option, right, of a yes or no to purchase it. And so, um, again, this artfulness can be when it is when it is used creatively, and we'll see this when we talk about um, Taylor Swift, it becomes something powerful and even beautiful because you're able to educate people, let them know what's going on, let them know the um, the way it can and, um, be beneficial to them and, um, just, you know, basically make it sound good, right? That's what sales is all about. Um, and the better you can make it sound, the more likely you, you are to sell it. But it's always an educational process. And the more you can come from that artfulness of education, the better. And the invisibility is when it's not even seen as sales, right? When it's not even, um, like people don't even feel as if they're being sold to, because that's, you know, that's where the sleaziness comes in, right? That when people don't like being sold to, um, I don't like it. I'm sure you don't like it either. But when they feel like they're being sold to, that's that's where the sleazy part comes in, the manipulative part, right? When people feel like they're being manipulated, they don't like that. And the invisibility is when you can do it without even having them feel a yucky feeling. Um, and not that it's, you know, because you're not being sleazy, you're purely being educational. You're purely helping them to come to a decision with integrity. And that's where the integrity part comes in, right? It's like do, saying something, letting them know exactly what they'll get from whatever it is you're selling, and then allowing them to come to a conscious decision. And he also says you can identify the 26th shadow in a person because they simply cannot relax even for a single moment. And I think this is where the kind of the um, very active salesperson energy co might come from. Um, it's it's uh, it, it's not it's not somebody who can relax that easily, and, and especially when it's in the shadow side, because they tend to be a little nervous, right? They tend to be not not somebody who can relax. Um, also, he says the 26th gift celebrates your ego without self-judgment and in full awareness. So you can celebrate your ego. It's okay to have an ego, you, but you just don't have to be, um, in other words, you don't have to self, self-judge. You know, you, you, can, you can do it without judging yourself and in full awareness and just um, say the things that make you proud to be who you are. So in the Sungate uh, 26, we've got a number of uh, different personalities, um, I mean, their birthdays this week, including Taylor Swift, who we'll talk about, and I believe Dick Van Dyke is turning 100, so happy birthday, Dick. So it's Taylor Swift's birthday on Wednesday, December 13th. She turns 34 years old. She was born in 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania. She has a 5-1 profile uh, as a projector, and she's got the left angle cross of confrontation. Um, she's, as you probably know, an American singer, producer, writer, um, songwriter, and activist. Um, and she's Times 2023 Person of the Year, um, which was just uh, 
news and she was just named that last week so there's been a lot of buzz around her if there wasn't already um this year and so i just wanted to mention her because she does have that 26 up in her conscious son she is about integrity and you can i think see it in a lot of the things she does and a lot of the the um the activism she's involved in the the integrity she has around her uh, employees and her business and how she runs her business and um, um it's it's difficult in the music business to have the level of integrity that is with that's withstanding the length of her career um you know she started very early on and and had a record deal at 16 and so She's coming up on almost 20 years of being in the music business, and that's not easy. And as a projector, it's certainly not easy because the, um, well, because as you can see, for example, with the tour she's on now, it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of stamina. And um, it seems as if, you know, I've been watching now um, for a while to see what, what she's been doing and how she's been doing it because I knew she was a projector. Um, some people seem to think that she, some of the transits have helped her in her career because they've been in at certain times and have allowed her to, to have um, perhaps a little more, at least the feeling, as transits do, the feeling of more energy that, that allows her to, um, you know, keep up the pace that she does. But she's also had, um, as many of us did, COVID break and, um, and some other breaks that were um, unanticipated, um, where she, you know, and I didn't even know about this, where she actually went off to another country for a year um, after the um, incident with and Connie West on the stage. And, um, the, uh, and, and then this, the song he wrote subsequently about her. So, um, or that included lyrics about her. So, so there was the controversy there allowed her to take a little time to be to herself and to, to regenerate, you know, to recuperate, regenerate, re, you know, whatever, um, take a retreat basically so that she could um, come back to herself. She's got a bunch of um, gates that help her in her career. Um, she's got the gate 36. So she's good in a crisis. Not, she's not emotional. Um, she does have the gate 30. So she is intense. I think um, she, and a lot of other people would say she's intense. She's got the gate six, which is all about protection and kind of the warrior princess protecting her, her people, her her fans, her her employees, all the people who work with her. One of the channels she has is that gate of salesmanship, and she has been good at the forty four, which is finding the right people to work with her. And for example, her publicist, who's who's been in the news lately, um, and the twenty six, which is all about integrity and. Um, and, and it, don't forget, it's connected by this spleen, which is very nurturing energy. Um, I think it's what um, allows her, her fans to have such a potent feeling that she is nurturing them because she because she is. And um, that 26 allows her to have the integrity to run the business, close the deals, you know, um, sell the tickets, um, sell the albums, do all the things that she does with the Will Center that is, is um, you know, not a lot of projectors have. And she's got the Will Center, um, which allows her to have that well, power and ego and self-worth, and also the Root Center, which is another motor. And so she's got two out of the four motors. So for a projector, that's pretty good. Um, that's that's a, a nice combination to have. She also has the gate, um, the channel 2838, which is all about struggle and then learning what's worth struggling for with the gate 38 and the 1858, which is just below it is all about um, correcting and, and editing and improving things. And I can't help but think of the remakes of all her albums that she's doing, right? She did them once she got um, a bad deal with regard to the recording rights and they got sold off. And so they got sold out right from under her. And so she re-recorded them um, with a you know, from her friends because many people were, were suggesting that to her. And at first she thought it was a funny idea, but then she went ahead and did it and it's worked out fabulously for her. And so that correction and editing of her own albums is, is something um, I would point to with this Gate 18 and making things better. And really making things better for a lot of people because of the way she's done things and the way she's um, at least shown that um, a young woman 
in business can um, make a name and a brand and a reputation and money that many other people haven't. So that gate 18, is, which is the gate of correction, is connected to the 58, which brings people to joy. It's about bringing her to joy. Um, she's actually got it a few times in her chart. She's got the 58 up here in uh, Mercury. She's got it down here in uh, Uranus and um, over here in Jupiter. So, um, I'm sorry, Saturn. And so, you know, it shows up a few times in her chart. And I love seeing the 58 in anybody's chart because it basically means that they're going to have a smile on their face. And I think she probably does have a smile on her face most of the time. And, uh, but she, more than that, she, she wants people to come along with her. She wants other people to come to the joy also. And so um, that's always a nice thing to have. Um, I'll just mention, so she does have that gate of the queen. She's got the gate of the listener. She's really good at listening and really good at writing what she hears. Um, she's got the gate one, which is all about making a creative contribution to the world, which she is. Seven, leadership, democratic leadership. Ten, self-love and empowerment of others. Fifteen, love of humanity. Fourteen, all about money. And twenty-nine, about commitment. 60, evolution, 52, concentration. She's got mm, all the gates that have really helped her in her career. So happy birthday, Taylor. And I hope you have many more. And I hope you have a wonderful week and um, watch for places where integrity shows up in your life, in other people's lives. And um, have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Be well.